So what is this concept of momentum and how does that get expressed in your body? What is the changes in physiology and also psychology that creates momentum? Well, this story takes us back to the late 80s, early 90s, where they were looking at stock traders and found that there was actually a positive correlation between how much money these stock traders were making and the amount of testosterone within their blood. There was something about having more testosterone that came from actually making more money. And the theory is that testosterone actually makes you take bigger risks and see opportunities and capitalize on them when you see it. Uh, now, the testosterone can be raised in both males and females. Uh, we both have it. Males have it higher in their bodies than females do, but the idea is that it actually increases <clears throat> as you get wins. Now, this concept of winning uh, is well covered in Ian Robertson's book, The Winner Effect, and he talked a lot about this. When an animal actually wins in a certain situation, sex hormones like testosterone actually increase in the body, and it creates these biological mechanisms that make the organism more likely to win in the future. Um, it actually even happens in spectator sports. If you see a soccer match and you take, uh, this actually was an experiment done where they took uh, saliva from uh, soccer spectators. Uh, the people whose team actually won had an increase in testosterone levels in their saliva, and the people who, whose team lost actually had lower levels of testosterone in their saliva. So even watching uh, something that you're emotionally connected to can, can do this as well. The really interesting thing is uh, they replicated these studies in mice and what they found was uh, not only were there increased testosterone levels in the blood of mice that won certain situations, but also the receptors in their brains for testosterone were increased. So if you think about it, you can't just increase testosterone within the blood past a certain point that would uh, probably not do too well on the body, it would probably become toxic at a certain point. But if there was a mechanism where the brain actually utilized the amount of testosterone in the body better, then you can imagine it would be almost like being a supercharged sports car. If you have a sports car versus a regular car and you put the same amount of gasoline in each one, obviously the sports car is going to do better in terms of speed than the regular car. And it has the same idea, whereas if you have more testosterone receptors in the brain, your brain can use that same amount of testosterone in your body to make you supercharged. And now, how does this make you smarter or make better decisions? Um, well, testosterone allows for an increase in uh, dopamine within your brain. Now, dopamine is a neurotransmitter, the same neurotransmitter that actually makes you addicted to drugs. And drugs like cocaine release a ton of dopamine within your brain. And when that happens, you become basically like physiologically supercharged you have incredible energy, focus. I mean, uh, amphetamines do this to people too with ADHD and I'm not encouraging drug use. What I'm, t what I'm saying is it's the same neurotransmitter and the amazing part about it is that you can actually do it naturally and you can train your body to respond to it over time. So that's where the practical use of this video comes in is how do you utilize these concepts? Because what dopamine does so if you get more testosterone in your body, you have more receptors in your brain to utilize it, it releases more dopamine. And dopamine actually improves what they call the executive function in your brain, the front part of your brain that allows you to make decisions in your life, to see opportunities, compare the possibilities and make the correct decision. Uh, it actually enhances the use of your memory centers so that you can use all your prior experiences to make the best decisions. And it actually blocks out distractions. So let's say you want to start a business but the economy isn't so good. Uh, maybe you're worried about relationships in your life. Um, all these distractors and what all you really want to do is start this business and get to where you want to go in life. So dopamine actually will make you more focused. The way that you utilize this is every day you really need to make small goals. And I think where people get tripped up is they try to build an entire wall before they lay each brick. And I'm drawing that from a uh, talk that I heard Will Smith give at one point in his career. He was talking about his childhood and when his father had asked him and his brother to build a brick wall and him and his brother protested and they said, Dad, we can build this whole brick wall. It's gonna take forever. We'll never be able to do it. But Will Smith said that his dad uh, basically taught him to lay one brick at a time and lay that brick as well as he could each time and you do it gradually so that as you lay your bricks, eventually one day you'll have a wall. 
So you need to make these small steps every day to get where you're going, whether that be send an email, write a paragraph, uh, read uh, a, a chapter in a certain book, these little steps that get you closer and closer to where you wanna go. And so each one of those steps is a little brick that you lay, creating this wall over time. If you think about it, as you do these tasks, as you successfully cross the things out for your list each day, those are little wins in for yourself. And the, the idea is to utilize that to congratulate yourself at the end of each day of hard work in crossing those things off your list. Because if you do that, you congratulate yourself. What you're basically doing psychologically is telling your body biologically that, hey, we're winning. I'm going places you need to follow me too. And there's literally physiological changes within your body that happens when you do that. Whether that is raising testosterone levels in your body, other chemicals that we don't know about, and or levels of dopamine within your brain, it's going to motivate you, give you more energy, and make you smarter in the process. So again, you can make the right decisions and do what you want to do. So this is Cody Rawl. Thanks so much for the listen. Talk to you next time.